Okay. Yesterday we worked on the alphabet library and we created the letter M and the letter K. Right? Let's create more letters. Uh what cam what comes after M? Okay. So we would should be working on the letter N. And the letter N would be very simple. We would just connect these areas to this area like this, and that would be it. Um let's just see the dimension is perfect so let's just uh, move this down a bit the easy thing uh, is flipping this stuff and reconnecting it so let's do that so i will select these edges i will select these edges Remove the vertices like this. Select. Oh, I didn't notice this stuff. So let's. Okay, so. Let's move this point up. So S Z zero. And now we can dissolve all these edges that we don't need because we want this to be as clean as possible yeah the other one is good so let's switch the pivot to be median point select this rotate it in the x-axis by 180 degrees let that put us here okay we don't want that um yeah let's let's just rotate x 180 and bring it down so it's in the same space like this one we have snapping turned on so when i hover over oops when i hover over this uh edge it aligns to this edge okay now we just fill the void we select the, see this uh this column here is empty and we have an opening here we have the same opening down here but it's probably on the other side so let me check yeah we don't have we don't have a hole here we should have a hole like that one so let's make one hole in this area so we select the face oh okay okay so we select the face we hit x and instead of saying faces we say only faces and that is not helping yeah i deleted it and it showed me that so everything is perfect so let's fill the or connect these two so first we connect this edge to this edge we select the two and hit F on the keyboard. Now we go here. We can select this and do F and do the same for the rest, but we can do it more easy. Like select this edge and hit F, F, F. And that's it. We have the letter N. And then we have an element. The letter R. The letter R is looks complicated, but it actually isn't. So let's uh, select all these faces and remove them. Actually, let's start from scratch and start from the P because the P is the most uh, or like the one that looks the most like the letter uh, R. So let's start from here. 
and maybe from this area and this area we can extend our to be aligned with this area right uh one thing yeah okay let's do that the letter p looks awesome and it's clean and everything but let's just remove this this extra uh faces we will need these faces uh later but we don't need them now so it, it, it would be better to focus on the shape the general shape right now and we can worry about the uh the triangles later so this is looking almost good So this is looking much better. It's cleaner. So let's create a loop cut here. So we have our loop cut and we want to extend this. But before we do that, uh, this is, as discussed earlier, this is 0.25 on this axis and 0.25 on this axis. So why is this not dissolving yeah so so this should be 0.25 instead of 167 okay so we go here to n we can see that um, this area needs to be more so we can fix that in many ways one of them is let's select this edge loop move it back like here okay and then we kind of move it x like maybe 0.2 well let's do it from the other way let's do it from here because we want to start from here so let's dissolve this edge we don't want it and move this to be here then we don't deselect anything we just start moving it back the amount that we want and we type it on the keyboard 0.25 but that puts it in the positive direction we want it to go in the opposite direction so we type minus on the keyboard it's looking weird because we didn't specify in which axis we want it to move so we hit x on the keyboard and that makes it move only in the x axis so we just need to extend this down and move it forward so e and here and this is what an r looks like so we just extend it to this area so we select it we say g x and we want to align it with this and now we have our R so uh, everything is as expected so moving forward let's take a look at the letter D here notice anything weird with it you know we don't have we don't want to see the letter 3 Do you notice anything weird with this letter? Okay, in case if you didn't notice, see that this edge, this side, is uh, smaller than this side. First, it should be identical. Second, um, it should be equal to the same here 0.25 so it should be identical in the same letter like in the same letter we want these shapes to be in the same width and height or at least thickness not width and height and in other shapes as well so uh, it should be either this or this but because other shapes are using 0.25 like the R and other shapes we want this to be 0.25 so let's fix that Uh, we have too many, too many, um, 
unnecessary edges here okay we have a problem here let's see what is causing all the problem okay we have unmerged vertices so let's select all go to mesh clean up merge by distance and that fixed some of the issues we have here now if we move this it's less of a problem now so let's go here dissolve edges same with all this stuff this is all stuff that we don't need let's edge select this one okay it seems like this is not optimized as expected so let's again maybe do a uh, degenerate dissolve see how it looks now it's much better we don't want this edge Okay, it will be easier. If we work with a clean model. Yeah, okay, obviously when this dissolved, but it's not allowing me for some reason. Okay, we'll just delete them. Yeah, that's why. This is there is was something in the inside. And we fill this void by selecting, well first see, these are supposed to be one, but they are two. So we go into vertex mode by clicking here or one on the keyboard and we dissolve these vertices. Now let's fill this void. Same here. We need all of our models to be uh, as clean as possible. Dissolve edges. This one as well. Okay, this is a tricky one. See, it looks like it's going full, but it should be. It should stop here, and this one is a separate one, like this right or like this and this but this one says it's one and we may, when we move it we see the problem this is the problem so first let's dissolve these two and we can fix this one now so the easiest solution is to remove this edge and to add a new edge from scratch so we select these two points or we just select these three and hit F that will create a face and an edge for that face so we fill this one as well and our letter D is complete and clean now we need to fix the the width issue now we can easily move this without breaking right nothing is going uh, to stop us from doing this because the model is now clean so uh, an easy solution for the width issue is again like the letter R we move this to point zero like this and from this to here should be point zero two five sorry zero point two five so G X point two five and we want it to go the other direction, so we put negative or minus, and that's it. Uh, now the letter D is fixed. Every other letter looks just fine. Okay.
Okay, the queue is perfect. Uh, do you think we should extend this to be like go here? I think it should. Let's do it. So to do that, I will just first need to hide all these anchors. And see this one doesn't have thickness, so let's do that. Um, and actually there is an easier way to do this. Let's remove these vertices. Okay, we have the letter O ready. So we want this to extend like here and here. So an easy way to do that is just we take this edge, we go into bevel like this one, and we extend it like this. Right, and let's take a look. So let's create some guides. Because we want to know where we are looking so we want this to be like this and from this should be going like this should be at 45 degrees okay so we go back into uh, the bevel tool and we select it like this. Okay, we need to fix this. I will move this here. Well, let's just do this right now. Okay, we can fix the, the geometry later. And for this one, Let's just cut it in half. Let's remove the animation here. Another loop cut and we want this to be at the bottom. So as said oops we didn't we didn't enable the pivot and we want it to be in this location so sx so this is all good this one should be at this point so let's do that Well, an easier way to do it is making the transform orientation be normal. Well, not normal. It should be local. No. I think it's normal. No. Okay, there is no way to do it from that technique. So let's just freehand it like this. So it should be around this area and we will optimize the optimize the geometry later we don't want all this extra geometry okay and let's extend, let's move this first, and let's extend this by hitting E. Here. So this is good. Now we want this to start from here and stop here. 
like this. Okay, I'm I'm I don't think this is the best way to create it, so let's just start again. I think there is a better way to create it. Um so again let's clean all this mess up really fast. Okay, so what we do right now is I will get, I will borrow the letter I and move it here and I will rotate it 45 degrees in the negative space and we'll position it the way where I want that letter to be so maybe this way right I will scale it down this time I will use local and I will make the pivot in the center so I will just say object set origin to geometry and then scale it down this way until it makes or uh, is in the same area as I want it to be. Okay, this is looking great. Now I take this, uh, first I want them to be in the same exact area, so GY, this is good. So we go to the main model, we go here and we say Boolean, and we want Union, and we want this object and then we hit apply now if you move it it's like this we don't want this one so we just remove it and from here we can start um, customizing this to be our desired shape so for example this one oops Okay. Okay. We are almost out of time, so let's continue working on this tomorrow. Uh I will stop the recording and see if anyone of you have any question.